Hi, my name is Graham. I'm a paramedic in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm here today on behalf of Sonoma County Libraries to talk to you about emergency preparedness. Emergencies can occur suddenly and without warning, and with fire season rapidly approaching, now is the time to make sure you and your families are ready to go. I'd like to talk to you today about the concept of the go bag. You must often, in emergency situations, evacuate your home very suddenly. A go bag will ensure that you have everything you need at a moment's notice. Every member of the household or family must have their own. This can be something simple like a duffel bag, a backpack, or even a suitcase, as long as you have what you need. You must include three days worth of clothing, including underwear, socks, and seasonal appropriate items such as rain jackets and comfortable yet durable shoes. Things like toiletries, toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant, soap, and shampoo are another necessity. First aid kits are typically available as full entire kits, but the individual components, bandages, antibacterial creams, over-the-counter medications, can also be purchased individually and combined later on. If an evacuation or any emergency were to take place in the middle of the night, it would be smart to carry a flashlight. A simple two AA flashlight with extra batteries will go a long way. Other seasonal items include sunscreen for summer months and hand warmers for winter months. Oftentimes in an emergency situation, you may not be able to grab important documents or family pictures, so keeping copies in the bag is a necessity. Pictures and documents can also be digitally archived onto external hard drive. Today we rely very heavily upon electronic devices such as phones and tablets for sources of entertainment and information, which will be necessary in an emergency situation. Keeping these devices charged is important. Having an external battery pack with the external cable tucked in the bag is important. Also, occasionally spot checking the device to make sure it still has a battery charge is a good idea. Wherever you end up evacuating, you still wanna make sure you have plenty of food and water for you, your children, and your pets. Things like granola bars and freeze-dried pre-made food available at sporting goods stores are a good option. Water is going to be another necessity. Make sure you have enough for everyone in your family or your household. If services like cell service or the internet are not available, personal radios come in handy for things like the weather and emergency information. These can be battery powered, solar powered, or even by a hand crank. Unfortunately, we're still faced with COVID-19, so extra face coverings for the family will be a necessity to include in the bag. Other things to include are things for your children and your pets, such as blankets, toys, and for your pets, an extra leash. Finally, things like spare glasses, should you, again, leave in the middle of the night. The last two little bits of information I have is if you have children, make sure you pack entertainment for them, such as games, books, or toys. If you have pets, make sure you have a way to transport them, such as a crate, a leash, and don't forget spare food and medicine. Further information can be received at the American Red Cross, the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department, or your local fire department. Thank you for watching, and be safe.